Uh, all right, Zach. So our first award we're going to talk about is the Big Ten Freshman of the Year. So the Freshman of the Year is it, so hard to predict. I just said we'll do five, uh, a top five here. The other ones we'll do top ten, and then we'll do top eighteen cause all, for all eighteen coaches in uh, in the conference. But top five here, I think it was pretty obvious. Dylan Rayola, Jeremiah Smith, kind of up there at the top. I wasn't sure what you were going to do, but Coy Parrish is a or Parrish mm-hmm. is it Parrish or Parrish? I think it's Parrish. Parrish. Um, they, they, uh, we both had him at number three. We both had an Oregon guy at number four. I had Aaron flowers. You had Elijah rushing. Both are supposed to see significant time this season at some point. Uh, and then Jordan Marshall, we both had at number five for, uh, Michigan. So Zach, this is the most, uh, list that we have. That's, uh, similar here. <laughs> what were your thoughts going into your list? And, uh, you know, why'd you put Dylan Rayola over Jeremiah Smith? Yeah, I think the main reason was volume. And I think if Nebraska has the year that we think they're going to have, it's a bounce back year. It's the quarterback position. And I I just think for Jeremiah, Jeremiah Smith, I think would have to either have a like bonkers season to, to outpace a quarterback or Dylan, Dylan Rayola would have to really stink. And that was kind of my think, my thought process. I think Jeremiah Smith is going to be really good. I I just question his volume, which actually will come to play in our offensive player rankings because I have uh, like another receiver pretty high in that list for Ohio State, and I think that's going to be a big factor. So that's why I have Rayola. I I think Smith is a. It, I think those are easily the top two, though. Yeah, for sure. I. I put Smith above Rayola because, uh, you know, he does seem to have more hype around his name going into the season and, like, you know, what he can do. Dylan Rayola is still in a QB competition, in air quotes. Um, oh, so, you know, at least right now, maybe it once he gets named the starter, maybe, you know, he would take first slot. But at least for now, I mean, Jeremiah Smith is presumed to be one of the top three players for uh, Ohio State in their wide receiver room right now. But at this point, we're splitting hairs. So any other freshmen you were thinking about that you were going to maybe put in this top five that you just thought um, they're kind of a long shot, so I'm not going to put them there. But anybody else you were thinking about? Not really. I mean, I there there hasn't been too much smoke. Like, I you know, as I've been talking with different podcasters from the from the college huddle, very few people have talked about freshmen. Um, you know, Jordan Marshall was talked about by the boys from out of the blue. Um, you know, Elijah rushing and Aaron flowers, both have been mentioned, uh, you know, by different podcasts and different, different folks. And, and Coy Parrish has been, I think a hot name. So I, I was like, those names made the most sense. Um, there just, there hasn't been a lot of conversation about freshmen. Maybe, do you have, do you have some names that you want to throw at us? Um, no, Aaron flowers and Elijah rushing were my two uh, Oregon guys that I was really going to throw out there. There's not really anybody. I mean, there's like a couple of Ohio state freshmen that were super highly rated, but they're probably not going to see the field because they're in the three deep. Um, so, you know, even them, uh, Oregon had a couple of highly rated players, but again, they're kind of in the same situation. So it's really difficult because the teams that get these super highly rated freshmen that are going to be able to, to do well enough to play, uh, are the ones that, you know, typically have somebody good enough that they're not going to start in front of them. So every now and then you'll get a player like Dylan Thieneman last year, Mm -hmm. right? Who started for Purdue and just was outstanding the entire year. And he's an all American this year. It's like him and Caleb Downs are the all Americans from the big 10 at, at safety position, which, you know, to think that Caleb Downs and Dylan Thieneman would be talked about together in recruiting. You wouldn't really think about not that Dylan Thieneman wasn't rated highly. He was a highly rated recruit, but Caleb Downs was just so high. Yeah. Uh, I don't mean any disrespect to Dylan Thiedemann. I think he's a really good player and he deserves the all American, uh, you know, signature there. But at the end of the day, it's not typically one of these guys from an Ohio state in Oregon, a Michigan. It's normally one of these guys from Purdue, or like I said, Coy Parrish, Parrish from Minnesota guys like that. So we'll see if anybody like that comes up and, uh, surprises us. But for now, I think it's pretty safe to say, unless one of these two guys goes down and the other one's just, that's have a good season. Probably going to see either Jeremiah Smith or Dylan Rayola yep. be the freshman of the year this year. Yep. Agreed. So, 